Hey guys, we're back. Welcome back to the C N J show. And with me, I have my favorite Jen and Juice, and I have my sister Neek with me. And we're gonna be talking about um, B Simone. I don't know what she could have said to break so many camels' backs. But Neek, could you explain to me what why people got so upset with her for what she said? Um, to me, in my opinion, well, I, what did she say? Well, basically, what she said was, uh, if you don't know, I'll just give, catch you guys up real quick. Um, long story short, to kind of sum it up, she just basically said that the same thing that um, a woman is asking for that she should be able to provide for herself. Now, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that was fine. I do think people got annoyed with it or mad with it because. You know, she was saying something, I guess, recently about um, having a nine to five. Like she couldn't date a guy that has a nine to five. So they said, well, what if you made X amount of dollars or whatever? And I guess she was just like really against like a dude that works a nine to five job or something like that. So I think that was very offensive to people because the average person works a nine to five. So, you know, I guess and then her supporters, the majority of your supporters are working nine to five. Pre-COVID, when you were doing your shows, people are buying tickets for themselves, for their girlfriends, with their nine-to-five paychecks. So yeah. I think that was kind of what made people feel. I think that once you're canceled, it's kind of hard. I think anything you say, you know, is kind of held against you, even if it's good. Yeah. So that was my opinion on that. And Jen? My, I, I pretty much share the same opinion. I feel like nothing that she said was wrong. Let's just put that out there. If you are asking for a million dollars from a man, you better have a million and one. Yeah. Um, I do feel like what she said was right. But like Nick said, I think it was the backlash that she received from saying that she can't date a, a guy with a nine to five. Which also, if we could talk about that for a Ties second. Ties into what she was saying. I don't think it's anything wrong with what she said. Yeah. I think when you reach a certain position in life... It's certain people that you cannot be compatible with just solely based on your your schedule. Something as simple as your schedule. Mm -hmm. That's why you see a lot of the times doctors date doctors because they know their their schedules are both crazy and they can understand. Mm -hmm. I don't see, you know, nine times out of ten when a doctor has, um, you know, his wife at home, they're not happy because he's at work all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she's, she, it was nothing wrong with what she said. She's at a point in her life where she's traveling, where she's doing this, she's doing that. She's on this, she's doing, she's, it's basically and I grind think, time for her. Yeah, and I her, think her being with, with a nine to five person, it doesn't serve her. Right. And I think financially too, I think when you reach to a certain point, when you, you know, you're able to ask for, you know, you're up and coming, you know what I mean? But you know, this is just in the beginning stage. You can ask for $15,000, $20,000 to come in and do a show and you're going to get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's not, I mean, it got forbid, you know, once you get much bigger, you'll get, you know, way more money. You all, you're, you know, you're able to ask for a hundred thousand dollars and things like that. So a nine to fiver really would understand that in the type. Of okay. Yeah. And back to what we, we was saying with it. Um, I do feel like since B Simone just got here and I think this is the part with, with everybody I don't care. You know, what you got, what you have, what you don't. Yes, you have to date people that you're compatible with. But also, with B. Simone, you're you're kind of too fresh to be saying it in a certain way. Yeah. When I say fresh, like, you just, you you literally, you just got here. Because, honey, I remember when you was sitting there in that Toyota Corolla and you didn't have nothing. You was with Desi. You came up like that, trying to come up and, and really make it. So, every you know, everybody's going to get something. That's, to me personally, we do all understand. But understand, too, that um, the people that you would date in the world, the celebrities... They're not what, tuning in all day watching your stuff. It's those nah. people from nine to five. So you you have to be very careful right, be with re you know. yes in what you say, and especially as you get just a little bit older, you you don't know who you will date. Somebody it could be somebody um they may do have a nine to five, and what if it is twenty twenty dollars an hour or thirty? It don't matter what it is, but what if they can give you everything that those guys that now that you're at that high, 
caliber who don't really look at you to say, yeah, you know, you may have long hair and a nice skin tone, but honestly, you got a lot of work to do. Those, you know, and it's a bunch of people and right. they're cheating. But what if that nine to five give you those daily compliments that, and he seemed like he worship you how Desi did before he just got this baby. I don't know. I think I look at it more on like a financial and a time time. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's what she was talking point. about. More yeah. than anything, more well, than Well, you got to make time. it clear so people like, don't go and say these things like, to you, Jen and You know, just, like how you can just up and take a vacation. Like, oh, let's go this place or whatever. My schedule is free. Let's just go and, and, and right, you right. know, to this place or whatever. Where somebody with a job, you have to put in a request for the time off. And you might get denied. Hope and pray you get the time off. And then you right. got to come up with this money because, you know, you don't want your girl paying for everything on vacation. Mm -hmm. So you got to try to come up with all of these thousands of dollars. You want to stay at the, the best resort. Yeah, because she's going to want to stay at the best hotel. She's right. not going to stay at no double tree. Right. You know, she's going to stay at I mean, money-wise, I, I do feel, because I know Chris Brown said it one time. Like, you don't know, no, he wouldn't date a girl that's not. In the industry, just because he knows, you know, she wouldn't understand it would be, you know, she'll probably get very jealous, which is true. You would, because that you ain't gonna be able to handle none of that stuff. But I do think, I really do think that sometimes. Oh, you know what, Jen and Lucy, let me let me ask y'all this then. If which which I understand what she's saying, but but you know, with anything that we do, um. We always speak about being humble and just being the type of person you ain't gotta let nobody know what's going on and you still keep that reputation. But let me ask you this thing. At what at what part in your life where a preference is no longer a preference? Where you now get to a certain point where you you say, Listen, I take all my preferences out. Like I would date this person with this and they gotta have this and we wanna have this. But now I'm too a point in my life where if I want to be treated fairly, I want to be, be loved. I want the finer things in life as far as what a person could give you. Where a preference can't give that. What you but mean? love can. If oh, you, you mean, hear like, what I'm saying. Oh, like, like, you okay, don't you know when you... No, no, no. I'm not saying you don't care about no money. Because, I mean, you don't no, want to be broken. Saying, like, that's so. not a... What do you mean when you what say What I'm saying is, when I say preference, you're not okay. When you're in... High school, college, or a certain age, you get out, you have a preference. Like some people would say, no, I only date light skinned people on mix. Or she got to be a nice body, or he has to be athletic, or he got to be big or skinny. When you start talking like that, when, but at what point do you get to a point where it's like, okay, you know what? I don't necessarily have a preference, but now if that nine to five or that person who doesn't have the best body, uh, can't love me now. I didn't grow to love them. Where it does not matter. Do mm. you think that, like, okay, is a preference? I do they have anything to do with youth or maturity or no, what? I think that's definitely. So I mean, I don't know how old you got to be, but you definitely not gonna be. I don't think thirties, forties, twenties, nothing like that. Maybe forties, but I don't know. But I, I feel like, or you have to be them been hurt a lot of times. Or to something. feel that way. To feel that way. Like, okay, I'm just tired of going through the same old thing. So but I feel like it. you do, you, and I would consider it settling, um, but I feel like if you won't or you can't find somebody within your type, supposedly, like, okay, if your type is somebody that is, you know, whatever your type is, you know, whether it's like, you know, somebody have to have a little, because I've seen girls that like dudes that are kind of, chunky you know mm -hmm. not fat not skinny but kind of have some weight on them you know gotta be dark skin or gotta be light skin or gotta have this or that and i've seen girls i mean guys that you know no the girl she gotta look like this so she gotta be skinny she gotta be tall she gotta be short she gotta be kind of chunky she gotta have a little bit of weight on her mm -hmm. you know what i mean so things like that i think whatever you are attracted to is what you're always going to be attracted to you get what I'm saying? I don't, especially when you're young. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't think that that's going to change. Well, that's why I said, like, you know, you know when you're young, you, you do have a preference. You're, somebody want to hook you up. You're, so, oh, you no, not older. this way. I think when you get older. No, I think your motivations have to change. I think whatever it is that motivated you to be with that person and be, to begin with, if those change, then I think, okay, then you could start considering, well, oh, well, I don't really care about that no more like I used to, so I can consider this person. 
Mm-hmm. Like, well, you know, I have So you're more saying if you've been with them forever, that's when you start to not care? No, like they... as we grow, we change and things like that. I feel like, you know, like you said, like it may be maturity. It may be, you know, you having to go through it. But I think your motivation has to change for you to be able to accept something that you didn't accept in the beginning. It got to be like, you're not so strict on that one thing anymore. Oh, like, so for example, right? If you, if, if your whole thing, like, no, a dude got to have money or a girl got to have money. She got to mm-hmm. have herself together. Mm-hmm. But once you start to get money, once you start to get yourself together, mm-hmm. it, but you meet a nice girl or you meet a nice guy, mm-hmm. it's not like, okay, well, you don't have to have all this money right, no more right. as long as you have something and you're trying you're ambitious or whatever i can accept you not having as right, much money right. as i thought that i would need you to have right, but you right. still okay. but the person you still see the go-getter in them yeah. What you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah right right, right. yeah okay. okay okay so yeah i want to say that to say this like i said would be simone mm-hmm. I rem- I just do remember seeing her with, you know, Desi trying to do the skits when they was coming up and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I don't think nothing that she said was, was wrong, but I, I will to say this with certain stuff. Before you get to, like, with the way she kind of said it with that confidence in, like, oh, y'all know, I do not talk to no guys from no nine to no, he ain't got no nine to no five. You're not to me you ain't there yet for that you need to just sit down to me personally you do right. still need to but i also sit down feel like with it's certain that. things you just can't say you get what i mean no but then maybe we we all looking at her like okay she probably you know she just saying that because she done got to a certain spot maybe she already tried it and it was something like oh no i can't do that but no like, no i, already I get been it there, done that right. and it's something that i just can't do. right she never said that she for did. what reason she didn't exactly. want to but i get it i understand that too. i mean because we're not saying i'm not saying that because i know even in all the songs in the in in all the songs is the dead females who rap about and things we are too saying we don't want no guy that do not have no money but i'm just saying when you go on a on a you know, like a personal type right. of a level, but and you I say it, 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 it doesn't seem right to me. Right, right, right. And, and I feel like you got to understand your platform, right? I mean, Kodak Black and got in trouble for saying certain things on a, you know, being on a public platform that I'm pretty sure barbershop talk, locker room talk, whatever, nobody would have batted in the yeah, You give it up to this, it's, it's okay. But, you know, he said, in, uh, on a oh, nah, man, that's messed up. You can't say that, man. You you know, is that in the third out of respect, and it is out of respect. There's certain things you don't say out of respect on a public platform. Yeah. And, well, from around friends, you say certain things around your friends, and I feel like that was the issue. You know, I think with her was that you know you said something that could have possibly been offensive to the ninety, probably eight percent of people that listen to you and follow you and support you. Those are not a whole bunch of celebrities that got you where you are. People that are liking and sharing and, and, and commenting on your stuff are people that are regular nine to five working people. And like I said, I seen her with Desi. She comes from like with Desi doing the skits and stuff. And I'm just saying, no, I I do understand it. I don't, I'm, I don't like yeah, no, disagree I, I, with nothing, um, but mm. I'm saying you just got here. So that's like when you see those people and she here she comes again. Mm-hmm. That's like when you see these people that are managers or something like that, they just not got the position. It's like, okay, first of all, you just was a cashier with the with the rest of us. And <laughs> right, now all of a right. sudden, you're the manager, and now you just acting like you can't get fired. Yeah, see, well, I came up with this position, so you're going to have to. You know, you, right, you can't right. do that when you first step into something. I think you do got to, before you start talking, right. wait till you, because you do rap. Mm-hmm. Right, say it in a rap. Right, like right. everybody else doing it, and there's nothing. But when you having those one on ones, right? Let's just for one second, let's calm down, cause you just got here. Right, right. I don't think, like I said, and I, I, you know, and, and that's just to, to the conclusion to me with this conversation in particular. I personally don't think it was anything wrong with what she said. I think it was wrong to put it on a public platform, or even not to further explain what you meant. I mean, I know a lot of times people go, oh, you don't got to say everything, you know, this and that. But I feel like if you don't want to explain or further, you know, say what you meant. You now, wait, now you just said that. Now, one, somebody did say, okay, she just got a man. Who is it? Did you talk to? I don't know. Who's her man, Jandy? 
It's because you just got the man. I have no That's idea. why she was talking like that. But also with what you just said, when you what didn't you just say? Okay, so you gotta explain or whatever yeah, the case you know, you may need be. To say what you meant. Okay, so going back with that too, I wanted to say this with um, Ken and Diara. Not that they owe anybody anything because they don't, but I kind of felt a little, I felt a little crush that you know they just came back. With no explanation. You no, know, just came back, didn't say anything. And which I know sometimes you, you that's what you gotta do. You just gotta come back, no explain. You don't want to, you do not want to explain all that stuff. And I do understand that because that's not nobody's business. Y'all personally are two people that's really trying to get away from it. Especially, you know, Diara would want to get away with that, you know, from it because it's it's embarrassing and it, it doesn't look good. But I just felt like, well, dang, should we? kind of could we kind of know like well was it true like what mm -hmm, happened mm -hmm. before you guys just start just making the videos again and then going showing showing um your homes you guys mm -hmm. got the big you know what you was gonna what you how you was gonna build i was also saying i was saying yeah do i just want to know or do i feel like they should have said something or is it just I a fan that want to be like nosy just, what yeah i think want to be nosy and you kind of feel like you just want to know because I think a lot of times with those type of relationships, I think it's, it's best when problems do come about to keep that kind of stuff private. Because you got a better chance of making it out, you know, okay. But when everybody started to, you know, once people find out, because, you know, even happened with Chris Brown and Rihanna, you know, she was crying because she wanted to get back with him. You know, she felt... She really did. She loved him. They loved each other. And it was, you know, whatever. And, and, and granted, you know, abuse is never good. But, you know, he was young, she was young, not saying that's an excuse, but, you know, a lot But there was forced, there was forced not to be because of the law, the trial be around. And he was, and people was like, well, you know, you can't be with him because, you know, so many girls look up to you, young girls, and, you know, that's not going to be good for you if you do that. So they waited all of these years, and you're completely two different people now trying to come back together, and it just didn't work. So they missed out on... Oh, so they now trying... No, no, no. Some years ago, they tried to get back together because she was on Oprah crying about it. Like, you know, I you knew somebody that I loved. Like, I was in love with her. Yeah, he, yeah she was. They was, was in love. Did you yeah, hear his I part? He was, yeah, they was the most the serious relationship that he's ever been in, I think. I think yeah. he really loved her a lot as well. So. Yeah, because he only just, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but um, you know, guys, that's what we had to say with that, with the whole B. Simone type of a thing. And... Hey, just think before you do speak and just keep in mind that um, you can always fall in and fall out of anything. Finances, love, death, anything. So you really do have to be humble and just understand the most, the people that give you the most credit is not the people in your group. Right. You get what I'm trying to say? So um, we're out and guys... Um, Keep leaving the comments and stuff, and uh, we are going to do this little Q and A because we've been getting a lot of emails from people that you know asking questions, and we are going to ask you answer some of you guys' questions with this, and we will to be back with whatever it is that we got to say. What we're going to be back with, but all right, all right, gin and juice. All right, um. Just a quick closing, guys. I, I, Again, I'm just going to say that I do agree with everything B. Simone says. I think it's just a prime example of everything that you think shouldn't be said in public or on social media. Certain conversations should be left with close friends, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, but for the most part, I think you should stay true to yourself, which I think she's doing. Um, and, yeah, that's my take on it. Okay, and you... Yeah, and I agree 100% with Jen. Like we've said throughout this um, interview this time, um, definitely, you know, be mindful of who you might offend when, you're, when you do have a platform and, you know, having these types of conversations. You want to have these conversations with friends or people that are going to keep that stuff close because really nobody needed to know that. That was nobody's business or who you dating, like, you know, or what your preference is. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So, So. oh, yeah, even though we finna cross this out, just one question. So if that's the case... Is it the same thing when that, I think it was the basketball, one of the basketball owners, he was in the home, he was in the house, nah, but that's a he racial, had sat nigger. That's, that's a racial uh, slur, though. You know what I mean? I know, but everybody says it. 
Right, but I mean, come on. But no, because you just said like it was in, you know, when you're among your friends, he was in his house and he just had said nigger. No, I, uh, that's oh, no. Wrong. no, no, that's, that's wrong. Just wrong. I mean, your, your, what your like, preference is, is different. It's from different being offensive, or being offensive or saying against. something derogatory against um, what you considered. Because who are you calling that? Like, who do you feel? This so we're, feel like so we're not. You. Okay, so, you know, like how white chick says nobody's around. Nah, so it's not, not so that's that's in yeah, it. Okay. That's, that's no. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure, guys, because I know, like you know, um, we love everybody, but I'm just saying, I just wanted to, to make a comment nah, with that, that you know. That's inappropriate. Especially, yeah. Nah, that's definitely. Okay, that was okay. So not that one. Okay, so then we're out.